Miguel Adorati, deep here in the iBob vaults, and we're back with another one of our talk and shoe video blogs on the Abu Dhabi Combat Club and their world championships. It's ADCC 2017. They are hitting Helsinki, Finland this September 23rd and 24th. All the tournaments, we've got the odds for the under 99 kilogram tournament. This is 218 pounds and under. This is, uh, you know, the heavyweights are next, but... Uh, this is the division where, like, the Jeff Munsons, the Dean Listers, and uh, John Olav Emos, traditionally, a lot of damage gets done by the guys in these divisions in the absolute tournament. So we're going to see what we get here. And uh, what we have in terms of odds is we've got Yuri Simoes at plus 350. And Simoes, if you look back at the competition, he won the minus 88 kilogram class last year in the ADCC 2015. So he's moving up a weight class. And he's the odds-on favorite to win here, along with Joe Assis. Both of these gentlemen, obviously, from Brazil. Assis finished third last year. Uh, so we're in a situation where we got guys with ADCC experience near the top. You got American veteran uh, uh, Dean Lister and uh, Jake Shields rounding up the top four seeds, according to the books. And I'm not sure about this. Lister, older, an ADCC competitor from way back. He's won the absolute. And uh, when he did that, he really shook things up and, and uh, you know, moved to the forefront of grappling. He's been teaching more than actually competing uh, for a good part. Now he's back in the last few years uh, competing again. He's got to be getting into his mid-30s at this point. You've got an experienced competitor there. The next guy up at plus 450 is Jake Shields. And there's another guy with ADCC experience. He went more the MMA route and had a long MMA career that kept him out of the grappling world. He's kind of known as a safe jiu-jitsu guy, good jiu-jitsu, great jiu-jitsu for MMA. In competitive ways, uh, he was known as a bit of a defensive fighter, didn't take a lot of risks, and his jiu-jitsu game kind of has that blanket game to him. We'll see. At 217 pounds, you know, I mean, Shields fought in the 170-pound division. He's, he's going to be small for this weight class. And we'll see if he comes in, you know, a, a considerably smaller, maybe tries to out-quick people. But that's really not his game. I think, you know, he may be misplaced here as far as the odds are concerned. Heading uh, further down the odds, we've got more Brazilians. Felipe Pena, plus 450. Salomon Ribeiro, plus 850. And Muhammad Ali, plus 950. And then a series of Americans come in as we start the four-figure odds. you got Elliot Kelly at plus 1,500. Veteran Rafael Lovato Jr., plus 1,500. I give Lovato Jr. a better chance than Jake Shields to advance in this tournament deep, uh, just for the record, uh, so that the odds makers maybe, uh, you know, have something mixed up there, or maybe Shields, based on name recognition, getting a little too much respect. Uh, you got Paul Ardia at plus 2,000, and then the foreigners closing out the bracket. Abdurrahman Bilarov is coming in at plus 2,000. Yukisa Yozegawa at plus 3,000. Roman Dolidze at plus 3,500. Camille Uminski at plus 4,000. And if a guy who's not on this list wins it, you get plus 5,000 on your $100 bet. You get a $5,000 check. Nice money. But uh, the winner's probably in the field right there. You got a bunch of guys. The Brazilian guys are always dangerous. And I'm not sure the Americans have their top representation in this year's field. I'm Miguel Dorati. That's the ADCC 2017 in Helsinki, Finland. This weekend, September 23rd and 24th, the odds for the under 99 kilogram weight class are at BetDSI. Check them out. We'll talk to you after the fights.